you guys are having a great holiday season today we're gonna get a little festive and make some christmas tree pull apart bread and it look the reason i'm doing this is not because somebody asked me it's because i saw a video on it and it looked delicious it looked wonderful it looked easy so we're gonna do christmas tree pull apart bread so let's get started come in close and you can see me put this all together we're gonna be using the pizza crust from pillsbury and we're gonna be cutting that up and then filling it, okay? So let me show you how everything's put together. So we laid out our dough. Now we're gonna cut small squares about that big. Maybe that big, a little bit bigger, okay? We're gonna, so we can stuff them, okay? So go ahead and cut this bread up into squares like this. Like two, three, two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And we'll show you how to put it all together, okay? So let's take a square. Let's do this one right here. We already cut our dough up. Got our, I'm gonna give it a little press down. Give it a little evenness. Okay. Take a little bit of pesto. Put that on there. Like that. If it's too much, take some off. <laughs> I think I did a little bit too much. There we go. Spread the pesto out. Yeah, this is gonna be messy, so. This is my first one. I'm just trying it. You take a piece of cheese, you can do cheese, you can do cheese sticks and cut them up too. But we grab pre-cut ones, okay? Put that there. And then you're gonna take a piece of tomato and put it right there. A little bit of tomato. And then you're gonna carefully fold up the sides and seal it. Okay, and then it's gonna look like something like this: a sealed ball with pesto spread in it and some sun-dried tomato, and a little ball of mozzarella cheese. Okay guys, put this in the oven for about 450. This is what it looks like. Everything's stuffed and ready. And prepare like an egg or two with a little bit of garlic, because we're gonna brush this later after baking at 450 for about 20 minutes. Your oven may be hotter, so keep an eye on it. When it's golden brown, give it a brush with the egg wash, and then put it in for the last few minutes, okay? All right, let's pop this in and we'll take a look at it. Now, you can see we got two eggs in here. This is the egg wash we're gonna use after baking a little bit, I'll show you. We're gonna brush it on, take a little bit of garlic, throw that in with the eggs. Okay, and then we're gonna just, like I say, an egg wash. If you don't know what egg wash is, just look it up. Now, we're gonna brush the egg and then we're gonna use Italian seasonings like oregano and basil, okay? I don't have the tribe blend already put together, so I'm going to throw it in myself. You could put rosemary, you could put thyme, pretty much anything. But uh, I got my seasoning over here. I got my egg wash here. I'm all ready. Okay, guys. Time to do your egg wash now. I pulled it out. You can see a little bit's getting golden brown. So, and we have a few extra ones we made. They're getting really brown, so let's give it an egg wash with some garlic. There we go. Little oregano, little basil. Okay guys, we had to pop it back in for a minute or two because the middle ones looked a little light. They didn't look cooked all the way, but they feel cooked now. You can see the dark perimeter of these outside ones got done pretty quick so we had to throw a little foil you can see we had to cover this with some foil so it went overcook just like you would do like you know, your apple pie or something so we're gonna let this cool and then we'll try it out so this is what it looks like uh the right way got a few extra pieces up here to sample this is the tree and everything looks beautiful okay so my dog's running around behind me waiting for me to drop one of these pieces Probably not going to, but uh, got some marinara here. We're dipping in some marinara. Give this a try, maybe really hot, hold on. I recommend you do it at 400. This got a little brown, a little fast. The middle wasn't cooked. So we had to drop it to 400, tent it with foil, so you might as well, I'll have the recipe down below, but you might as well 
just do it at 400, all right? So I think we perfected it. I uh, didn't have to touch the tree. We got some extra pieces here. I love you guys. Maybe you can come over and share some, huh? I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.